Hi guys, I'm Jackie Aino. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Today the internet went back you know what crazy over this whole KKW launch. Kim Kardashian recently launched her own line and between her stuff and the Jaclyn Hill palette, this is like the most requested item I've been asked about. Everyone's been wondering, What's the tea? What's good? Is it gonna be chocolate girl friendly? So uh, Kim Ye basically launched four sets of contour kits. It comes with the contour, it comes with the highlight, it comes with a like actual glow stick highlight, and then it comes with a dual ended brush. I had the wonderful privilege of going to Mrs. Kardashian West's home herself in Bel Air last night at the launch. So I got the first exclusive scoop on the product and the line. Hey guys, the legend herself. First of all, I just have to say I love the creative direction of like the whole look and feel of everything. Unfortunately, the products I just found out are already sold out. I'm a little late in getting this up, sorry. Either way, a lot of you guys had wanted to know is this going to work on my skin tone? And the swatches that I saw, I do have to admit I was quite skeptical because I, I kind of feel like for the most part, most brands, especially when they first start out, they kind of have like their generic dark like usually i'm the the darkest that they go and one i'm obviously wildly against that so when i saw the swatches online and on instagram and twitter i was kind of like a little underwhelmed so personally i'm a bit curious to see just how they look and if they will be dark enough for me and hopefully a little bit darker than that so the contour cream kits are going for 48 dollars which i do feel is a little bit on the pricey side you do get three products but they're not like three full size products. They're more of kind of like a travel size. However, I'm also not complaining about the size. I just think relative to the price, it may be a little bit expensive. Let's just roll this bad boy up and see how much you get. Oh yeah. Oh, Kim. Girl, Kim. Girl, you tried it, girl. That's all you get when you, no. Mm -mm. I'm disappointed, girl. This is not the kit I'll be using today. This is the guinea pig kit. Let me get into the kits that I have because those are the ones that everyone had the most questions about. Dark and deep dark. Are they deep dark as they say they are? The world may never know. And I love how this is sealed off. Like, I don't know, it just reminds me of like groceries or produce or something. And just in case anyone is a package freak like I am, it comes in this sealed, cute little sealed bag. The products themselves are also air sealed. Pretty, pretty sanitary. I, I can appreciate that. So we have a dual ended brush. It's a sponge applicator on one side and a brush head on the other. Not sure if I'm a fan of this yet, but I'm gonna give it a fair shot before I even talk about it. Then we have the deep dark contour. So, oh, that's actually quite dark. Hmm. Here's the other side. Are they both supposed to be the same color? That part I'm a little confused about. I'm, I'm not sure are they supposed to be the exact same color? They are quite dark. I definitely will say they are pretty dark, like not standard dark, like she got really deep dark. So there's one side and then there's the other. What is it? I can't tell what it, oh God, I broke it off. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Let me try this again. One side is slightly lighter than the other, but I actually think that's pretty dark. That's like impressively dark. I'm used to seeing most contour kits having my all over shade as the darkest. So this is actually something that is I can actually contour with because it's dark enough. Now let's see what the highlight looking like. Did I tell you these kits retail for $48? If I didn't tell you these retail for $48, they do retail for $48. And I'm sure we'll probably will foresee future restocks of the products. So here's the highlight. Ooh, that highlight looks really pretty so far. It's a nice gold. Okay, I'm a little confused about this because this is just a peach, this is just a peach stick. I'm a little confused about that. The highlight stick is beautiful though. That's really, really pretty. I think I'm gonna be using deep dark for the demo. And I'm also a little confused because the model on Kim's website is about my complexion on the deep dark webpage. And it looks like she highlighted with the peach. So I'm, I'm gonna try it out and see how I like it, but it's 
generally not a color that I would gravitate towards. So this is now the dark kit, which is the one that's just lighter than the deep dark. So here's dark and here's deep dark. There's a definite noticeable difference in the depth in both of these. I'm seeing dark is kind of looking more like it matches my face, whereas deep dark is obviously a lot, a, quite a bit deeper. You know what also I think is really unique is these feel more like a balm more than they do a foundation. Like a, they feel like a tinted balm and maybe Kim kind of likes that really, really soft skin-like finish. And what I do like is the fact that both ends are different colors. This is closer to my skin tone. This is a little bit darker. I'm honestly, I'm quite impressed with the shade range and I think she did a pretty good job. For like her, her first initial launch, like I think she did a pretty good job at the depth of deeper dark shades. Could she go darker? Definitely, she could probably, she could definitely go darker. Now, okay, back to the dark kit. I do really, really like the highlight stick. That is really pretty. I could definitely see myself using that. However, I'm a little confused with the color choices of the, like, are, is this supposed to be used in addition to a concealer or are you supposed to be able to just conceal with this? I'm, I'm not really understanding. Is it kind of like that Touche Claw from YSL type of thing? Kim, give, give me some guidance, Kim. Give, walk me through this process. I wanna wear this highlight shade today because it matches my hair. I'm just gonna make it easier and just stick to one kit even though I really, really like the highlight and the dark kit. All right, so now that I'm looking on the website, I don't see the model using this under the eye. I only see her using it in the center of the face and on the chin. So maybe I should just go ahead and conceal and then use this in addition to that. It's my first time trying the Lancome Tante Doll Camouflage Concealer. I'm gonna go right in. Let me just go ahead and fix my wig because we don't need my edges snitching on me. I'm gonna go straight into the darker side of the stick because that's what I feel. You know what, how are you supposed to know? Oh, there's numbers on here. Okay, so there's a one side and then it says two. So I'm guessing two is darker. That's what I'm inclined to believe today. By the way, it's very creamy. As I told you guys earlier, it has kind of like this balm feel. It's very hard. It's very hard most of the time finding contour sticks that are dark enough for me that like aren't my skin tone. And then you know what, on the center of my face, I'm gonna use the other shade just so that I get as much use out of it as I possibly can. So I'm going to put some here. It's definitely like an ashy, can you see that? So definitely a noticeable difference between this and this. Contours are meant to be ashy by the way, so just because my skin is dark, don't be off put by the word ashy. It's contour is supposed to be ashy as opposed to like bronzing, which is adding warmth. You're adding shadow when you contour. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more on this side where I added the darker. I'm just using like a combination of both colors. I'm trying to get, we gotta get our money's worth, y'all. Now, are you ready for this highlight stick? I'm, I'm beyond skeptical. The Lord is on my side and I'm having faith. I'm gonna put a little bit of that there. And then I'm going to go down my nose. Actually, it doesn't look that bad on my nose. It's actually not that bad. Maybe it's mixing in with my foundation. And what else do I wanna highlight? I don't know, girl. Now, if this is not cute and I go to this business meeting looking like powder, I'm gonna be mad, okay? I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, I forgot, I'm gonna use the brush. I don't wanna use the brush, but for the sake of the demo, I'm gonna take one for the team. First of all, the tool's really small, it's short, and I have carpal tunnels, so little things like that matter to me. Okay, so, already having a little bit Okay, so that's blending out. I don't know if maybe they felt like they needed to add a tool so that you kind of like get more use out of it or you get your money's worth. I personally don't feel like they're necessary, but I'll keep going with it anyway. Oh, that's actually not blending out the contour too, too bad. Okay, Kim Kardashian West, girl. Yeah, it's not, it's not terrible. So far, like I said, I do think the brush side is blending everything out pretty well. And maybe, I could be reaching, but maybe because you're using the same tool for the contour and the highlight, maybe the idea was to use them together so that they mix in together. Maybe blended in with the contour, it will kind of like match. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh God. It smells really good, by the way. It has a, a weird like Play-Doh-y smell. And I'm gonna use the sponge side 
to blend the highlight. Okay, never mind. Going back to the brush. Going back to the brush. Okay, this situation is not. This is not blending the way that I would want it to blend. Like at all. I know you see this. I know you see it. <sighs> um, Looking a little muddy and patchy in this area. Don't know how to fix it. Let's go on with the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender fixes everything. Much, 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 much better. That looks better, much, much better when I blended it out with the sponge. But the only thing that I'm a little worried is if, if I can't even get this right and I'm nowhere near like a novice when it comes to makeup, for someone who's a beginner, this might be really, really difficult to use. So you may wanna be cautious about that. But now that I blended it out, properly like with the sponge i actually don't think it looks bad at all it's not ashy it doesn't feel ashy and i think it complements my skin tone now i'm gonna work on blending the contour into the concealer and so far i'm finding it really easy to blend with a sponge though my beauty blender i'm not i'm not going back to this she was cute for like the jawline and like the hairline or whatever but once you get in these areas like where the blending matters Mm-hmm. I'm gonna use what works. Do I look snatched yet or what? Now I'm baking, cause that's just what we do when we fly. I wonder if I should just keep baking while I go to this business meeting. Is that ratchet? Oh, before I forget about the highlight stick, let me finish this up cause I totally forgot about the highlight stick. Okay, so on the other side, I'm gonna take the highlight stick onto my cheeky cheeks. Oh my God, that's so pretty. I live for a cream highlight, I really do. Especially in the summer. I'm also gonna put a little bit on my faux head down the center of my nose and my cupid's bow. And then taking my Sigma F35, I'm going to blend this out. Oh, that is freaking beautiful. That is what I'm living for. This, this is what I can't, Kim! This is what I came here for. You totally don't have to use a brush, by the way. You can blend these out with your finger. You can also do a sponge, but I just like the precision of really, that is absolutely beautiful. I love that. Feel like the light may be blowing it out a little bit, but that is really pretty. That is really, really pretty. I love that. And it's very, it's very subtle. Like you can just wear, sometimes when I'm going out without makeup, I'll just put like a cream highlight, like on the high points of my cheekbones and like a little bit of my forehead. And it's kind of like a your skin, but better, like next to nothing look. Nobody has to know that I'm wearing highlight, okay? Maybe I'm just blessed. Mind your business. This is kind of like what that reminds me of. This is a really pretty color, but I'm also curious to know what the dark highlight kit looks like. Okay, so I'm already late to this meeting. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and then go, and then I'm gonna come back and give you my final thoughts on the KKW Beauty Contour Kits. So here's a closer up shot of me, and I dimmed the lights a little bit because I felt like my lighting was a little bright, just so that you can really see a little bit more of the highlighting. I love the way that this looks in my brow bone and on my cheekbone, and then I also added it down my bridge, but you probably can't see much of it because I don't get too carried away with that often. You know what, I kind of feel like this would be really cute as like a chest highlight situation, but I just need a little bit more product. Like the fact that you get so little product, like that is going to go really, really fast for someone who contours several times a week or even every day for some people. So I pretty much did the full face. And before I finish it off, I actually wanted to complete it by using this bad boy, which I've been holding on to for the past couple weeks, I did buy this. I heard some extremely mixed reviews about them, being that they're just ash waiting to happen is what I'm generally, the consensus is what I'm hearing. But I like nudes and I like working with a different variety of nudes and the set itself was just so cute. I'm actually gonna use what looks like the darkest one because this one I think has the peachiest, it just looks like a nice peachy nude and it matches my hair color, and I think it's gonna match today's overall look. I wanna put a little bit of highlight in my tear duct before we get started, before I forget. I'm definitely gonna be using a liner with this lipstick. It is Bare Minerals in the color Graphic. And these are supposed to be lip creams, not liquid lipsticks, so I'm assuming it doesn't dry down to a completely matte finish 
which I'm not necessarily opposed to. Oh, they're very, they are very, very thin though. I feel like you have to really layer it on. Ooh, I like that pink. That's pretty. Is that it? Does it dry down a little bit? I'm curious, like how does that work? <sighs> okay, well, guess that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's wrap up my final thoughts on the KKW Beauty launch. Aesthetic wise, as far as the look and feel of the line, I think it's a beautiful collection. I actually have kind of like several different thoughts and I'll break it down one by one. First of all, Kim Kardashian, in, in my opinion, regardless of whether or not you like her personally, we're not talking about her as a brand, as a person, we're not talking about any of that, okay? Let's just, Put that aside for a second. Whether you like it or not, she kind of like revolutionized how people looked at makeup. Like she definitely kind of put highlighting and contouring on the map. I'm not saying she invented it by any means. Don't get it twisted. But I do definitely feel like it was her who made the technique. Like women were like, I want to do that, you know, like in a way that people weren't really checking for it before. Part of me kind of feels like it's a little too late to be doing highlight contour kits. Like I feel like she should have did this like five years ago. That is when something like this really could have taken off because I, I feel like the whole highlight and contour train has like long left the beauty community and and that phase was like two years ago, you know, when everyone was coming out with like dual, dual ended highlight contour sticks or like contour kit. That was like Anastasia who really picked up on that trend and took it to where it is and then everyone started copying thereafter. And I feel like because Kim was basically the one who kind of like put that trend on the map, this is a little too late. Like I'm, I'm kind of surprised that this is like her first product that she's launching from her brand. I feel like it's just kind of like, you could have done something really cooler than this. Do I like the product? Yes, simply because there really aren't a lot of products on the market that are dark enough for me to contour with. So honestly, this is gonna sound really sad, but like I take what I can get. And, and the fact that I was able to find something to contour with, I think was really, really good. She did really, really good as far as um, inclusiveness, considering the fact that there are four kits. I was expecting like the darkest color to be my skin tone shade. So considering the fact that the two that she carries will suit a lot of darker skin tones, I think she did pretty good on that aspect. The price point, I'm not really feeling. I just kind of feel like 48, what was it, 48, $58? Yeah, $48 is a little, a little up there. I mean, Kim, like you could have maybe did like a, a 40 even, you know? 40 makes me feel comfortable. And what's that shipping like? What's that shipping like? If you're in the UK, what's it really gonna cost me? Okay, what's customs gonna be talking about once I get the product, you feel me? So that's my issue. But I wasn't particularly impressed with the tool itself, especially not the sponge end. I don't know what this is made out of. It's just not enough sponge for you to really get in there and use it and make it workable. And then the brush side was not too bad, but I didn't find this workable on all parts of the face. For example, as I used it around my jawline, it worked out pretty well. Would I buy this kit? Yes and no. I would buy this kit, one, if I was a huge fan of Kim Kardashian and I just wanted to support her, definitely dough. Like there's gonna be people who are gonna buy it that because of her regardless, it's got her name on it. I would also buy it knowing that it's one of the few products out there that catered my skin tone and that's very rare to come by. They're just, simply aren't a lot of products out there that are dark enough for my complexion. On the other side, what babe? Oh, maybe not. Okay, darling. Take it, see you. Okay, bye. You bye. want to run yet? Yeah. No, okay. I don't know. Ben to be placed now, but we're okay. gonna go. Do you like my makeup? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Proud of you. Take care. Oh, you put all that cologne on on top of your must? I'm judging you. Now the other side of me says, I would not buy this simply because if I needed to contour, girl, I can just go get a foundation that's two to three shades darker than my skin tone, let's be real. You can really contour with anything. But I do also wanna mention that I, I like the formula of these because they're kind of balmy. And sometimes when you contour and you don't really know what you're doing, if you go too dark and you're not really that familiar or comfortable with blending, it can get really, really 
easily carried away. Whereas these are a little bit on the sheer side. So I think that they're a little bit more forgiving. So there's, I think a bunch of different ways that you can look at this. Honestly, if this wasn't sent to me, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Her lipsticks, however, this is definitely something that I would buy, even if I can't necessarily use all of the shades. The contour kit, while it was cute, I'm definitely gonna give it like a B minus, meaning like it's something that like if you buy it, use it. Like I think it's, oh, I did however really like the highlight stick shade. I really was rocking with that highlight. I think that that was beautiful. Really, really pretty, I'm here for this. And you know what, I probably, I think I would have even preferred to have the kit with this and then a contour shade on the other side. How cool would that be? I would really, really like that. Overall, is it a must have? Not necessarily for me, and I'm not gonna tell you to run out and buy it. Well, right now you can't because it's sold out everywhere, but, um, and I also know that that's not necessarily gonna stop people. Like my reviews aren't meant to deter people. People are going to buy what they wanna buy anyway. And the things that I'm not looking for in a product may be something that you're looking for in a product or vice versa, you know? I'm really looking forward to seeing where her launch takes her from here. I mean, what is next on her roster? Is she gonna go into lips? Is she going to go into more complexion products? I know I'm gonna have a lot of controversial comments about Kim Kardashian. Um, it's nothing personal. I'm not buddies with her. I went to the launch. I'm not sure why people think me and Kim K go on lunch dates. We really don't. She was really sweet, super professional. And I kind of feel like it's kind of like a catch 22. Like if Kim wasn't inclusive of women like me, then people would have been angry too. But the fact that I was there, people were kind of making it seem like you're a sellout. You sold it. Like, no, I got quite a bit of requests. Like aside from Jaclyn Hill's palette, this was like the number one thing I've been asked about the past 48 hours. So. I really wanted to get this video up for you guys. I'm so sorry it was later than I had originally planned. I hope it was helpful. And if you have any questions about the product, hopefully I didn't leave anything out, leave them down below. And um, ahem, you know what time it is. I know you didn't just come here to watch this video. You're gonna continue watching all my other videos because they're kind of lit. I'm just saying, I may be a little biased, but I think they're kind of lit, you know? So you might as well just enjoy and uh keep on coming back for more and hopefully i'll see you on my next video bye